Oh, of the Lord. And as you crown creation with your glory, so crown us, we pray, with thankfulness and praise in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As I approach uh, a wedding or maybe perhaps an outdoor civic service, invariably somebody will say to me, Can you send one up for us about the weather? Sadly, genuinely, they often don't even feel comfortable to use the word prayer. But I've ceased worrying about that. Because that's why I'm here. That's why we're here, to bridge that gap. When we pray for people, we do so in several senses. Uh, We pray for their well-being. We pray on their behalf. We pray that they will find and feel comfortable to pray. Can't you do something about the weather with that implicit sense that we're both talking about prayer? Well, I sometimes now reply by saying, well, I'm doing my bit, but it takes all of us. And I leave them to go away and wonder quite what that might mean. The question, though, that they've asked shows that sense that there is something more. There is more to this world than we know or understand, and certainly more than we control. But also that there's more for their life than they've yet discovered or understood or indeed control. That there is more and that there is that little uh, eager, ambitious, hopeful desire to receive that more. I have that desire about understanding how my car works and being able to fix it. Uh, I have that desire about somehow being able to build exercise into my, well, let's face it, even my annual routine would be a start, and to maintain it. uh, it, It's not an unattainable task. It's only just below the surface. But I need uh, a little guidance, a little help, a little lift. Others have that desire to be near and to know God. And we can help. We do help, even simply just by our being here. I may have said before, I often repeat myself, it's probably because I simply like the sound of my own voice, uh, that I have preached on this gospel reading when I was at college. Each of us had to preach at least once to the college community, uh, a slightly terrifying prospect, uh, but this was the passage I received. And I took the opportunity to draw out various parts of the college chapel or the college chapel experience and say to them, Have you considered this? Or have you considered that? Have you considered how dusty it must be in that gap between the floorboards on the back row and the floorboards on the front row? And then I said, have you considered, when you've sat in here for morning or evening prayer, the bird song that you can hear outside? At which point, all the birds stop singing. Creation is endlessly playful and creative. It has within it all the component parts to make it continually develop and evolve, and yet never to lose its heart, which is, I believe, grounded in the gift 
of a creator. I believe that's what Genesis is saying in those opening chapters, that we and all creation are united and bound and connected to a creator. The poet, poet, uh, poetry, that's the word, of the telling is another matter. But in all that we are, in our matter, our core, our being, we are united with everything else that exists. Be it the dust around us, the seas, the birds, the stars. We're all connected. Can't you do something about the weather? We're not stars to burn and shine and do what they do. We're not the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever moves in the paths of the sea, a glorious expression, doing whatever they do. We're not the cattle upon a thousand hills. But we are, and we know ourselves to be, Stewards. That Old Testament reading that we heard just a few minutes ago could very easily have been written precisely for us. Except maybe the bit about the pomegranate. So what do we do with it? A good land, a land with flowing streams, hills and valleys, fruit trees and barley. What do we do with it? A land with iron and copper, or add to that tin and lead and coal and oil. What do we do with it? You shall eat your fill and bless the Lord your God for the good land he has given you. And do not forget. When wealth and possessions and comfort increase, do not forget. With double glazing and central heating and fitted carpets and underfloor heating, do not forget. When our tables are full and when our choice is almost endless, do not forget. Do not forget those who are hungry. Do not forget those whose crops or business or countries fail. Do not forget those for whom the power and creativity of creation can bring storms, earthquakes, floods and fire. Do not forget we are stewards. We are as creative and inspired as any remarkable insect or element or vista or part of this creation which we observe and at which we marvel. And we have it within us also to strive and seek to recreate Medicines, health, security, crops, protection, nurture, all those things which we are endlessly creating and recreating from the stuff that we are given for the well-being of ourselves, our neighbour, our world. All those things where we think, I wish I'd invented that, because we too have that hunger to invent the wheel and everything so perfect in our world. But we're still not God. We have the knowledge of good and evil, but we don't have the word of control. We have the awareness, but we have to strive for the skill in how to use it. Can't you do something about the weather? We all can. Whatever your take on climate change, don't let it simply sideline you into a small-time human argument, which then misses the active point. We are remarkable creations. 
we have a unique part to play in creation. And we have between us an exceptional ability to perceive and observe and discern and evaluate and invent crops which can feed the world yet also ensure that they feed and nurture the insects and the bees which pollinate our world. Plastics which can create extraordinary medical, prosthetic and life-saving devices and also the skill to ensure that neither these nor their byproducts poison our seas. That car, which not only works, but enables us to be here, there, everywhere where we need, but also the learning to ensure that car pollutes less and provides more. And we, we ensure that such a complex, focused, busy, inventive world does not lose its heart or its soul, its reason to be life. Firmly, honestly, rooted and grounded in the arms of a creator. We remember God. We enable the world, near or far, to do the same. For it is he who gives you power to get wealth, so that he may confirm his covenant that he swore to our ancestors, as he is doing today. Do not worry about these things. Rejoice in them, for our Heavenly Father knows that we need them. We seek his kingdom and his right way in all these things. And all these things will be added to us as well. We remember God. And we invite him, in turn, to rejoin this glorious party. Amen.